Hate Info Law Library and we're looking at how to find legislation on NZLE. So NZLE is the New Zealand Legal Information Institute. It's a freely available resource so anybody can use it. And it has some really handy things that aren't available elsewhere. In terms of legislation, you click on the legislation link and you'll see a whole of different resources related to different types of legislation. The ones I use most often, as you can see on the screen there, are the Acts as an Act of Collection and the Historical Bills Collection. But these other collections also have their various uses, particularly if you're wanting very, very specialised things. So Acts as an Acted are basically examples of legislation as they're passed initially through Parliament, and it goes right from 1841 through to 2007. Examples after 2007 can be found in our main subscription databases. If you want legislation as it's currently in force, then your best bet is to go to legislation.gov.nz or of course the subscription databases depending on who you are and whether you're a staff member or student here. So just to see what we have for 1841, click on the year and you'll see there are a few acts there that were actually passed in New Zealand during that year. So clicking on one at random, the Juries Act, it will actually give you the text of the act as it was passed at the time. Some of the more, well, some of the later legislation actually has a little crest that you see in acts today, so I'll turn you and show you an example of that too. So here we have the Electoral Act from 1905, and you'll see the crest. But nonetheless, you can see here that you can scroll down, read the act as it was, and download it or whatever as well. And the other one I find really handy is a historical bills collection. And sometimes we get people asking for bills that have gone through Parliament in previous years and may relate to acts that have long since been repealed or just acts that never quite made it through to the legislation. And both of these things are covered by the Historic Bills collection as well as acts that did actually eventuate and are still maybe in force today. And as you can see, the collection goes back quite a long way. So I click on one at random. And you can see from the 1960s, and this is actually when the Crimes Act was first being taken through Parliament, we can read the original bill of what's now the Crimes Act. So we can see exactly what the ideas were about the Act coming to force at the time. So possibly really useful for someone studying criminal law in a historical context. And of course, these can be read in conjunction with something like the hand science, just to get that real sense of what the debates were that were going on in Parliament at the time. So I find that's a really invaluable resource, particularly because a lot of libraries, including our own, have actually dispensed with the hard copy bills and never really kept bills that have either been passed into law or actually repealed. So, um, it's really good to have this collection here where you can access all that sort of stuff that mightn't be available anywhere else. Okay, so that's pretty much it from me. If you want help with this or anything else, get in touch. Down, details are on the screen.